In this video, we have a quadratic equation that is 3x square plus px plus 3 is equal to 0 and it is given that if one of the root is a square of the other then we have to find the value of p. So here the given equation is 3x square plus px plus 3 is equal to 0. Now it is given that one of the root is a square of the other. Then I can say that if one of the root is alpha, then the second root will be alpha square. And now we know that in quadratic equation, the sum of root is minus b by a. So here the sum of root will be alpha plus alpha square is equal to minus of b is p and a is 3. And the product of root will be alpha into alpha square. It is c by a and c is 3 and a is also 3. Now we have two equations. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. And using these two equations, we have to find the value of p. So here, from the second equation, we can say that alpha q is equal to 1 and now we can write this as alpha q minus 1 is equal to 0 and 1 can be written as 1q also and we know that a q minus b q is equal to a minus b into a a square plus a b plus b a square. So, alpha q minus 1q can be written as alpha minus 1 times alpha square plus alpha plus 1 is equal to 0. And now from here we can get two equations. First equation is alpha minus 1 is equal to 0 and the second equation is alpha square plus alpha plus 1 is equal to 0. And now from the first equation we can get alpha is equal to 1 and from the second equation we can get alpha square plus alpha is equal to minus 1. And now we have alpha plus alpha square is equal to minus p by 3. We have alpha plus alpha square is equal to minus p by 3. So here we get alpha is equal to 1. So alpha is 1 plus 1 square is equal to minus p by 3. So from here we can get p is equal to minus 6. And here also we have alpha plus alpha square is equal to minus p by 3. And here we got alpha plus alpha square is equal to minus 1. So this is minus 1 is equal to minus p by 3. So from here we can get p is equal to 3. So we got two value of p. One is minus 6 and second is 3.